Yes, so yeah, I, I mentioned in the last 15 minutes, uh, all the content in the, the, the latest video, tutorial video about the uh, uh, topics, uh, important topics that we need for the exams, what uh, will be in the scope and what is not included. So because we did not record that part, so you can uh, watch the video uh, or in the final modules, or you find out in one of the latest uh, announcements, All right? Okay, so um, then the, the second uh, uh, part of the meeting today, I want to talk a bit about the dome model. Uh, so the JavaScript idea is that uh, to write a code that can uh, a program that can uh, handle and or edit or response to uh, a change in your HTML documents in some uh, circumstance uh, to respond to some events. And uh, the JavaScript can write or can edit the HTML code. That's the idea. And to be able to write or edit the HTML code, it needs to be able to, to, to access to different parts of your HTML code. And uh, to get that access, uh, uh, they use a uh, Doom model. Yeah, so you can find this slide actually is uh, the combinations of, of two uh, lectures. Uh, I believe that that should be split. So, but here I give it uh, like on the, the combined lecture nine and ten in one slide. So it's a bit long here. Uh, so the first part they talk a lot about JavaScript as a separate programming language. It had its own syntax, uh, statements, logical statements. Uh, uh, variables, data types, and uh, functions. Uh, so this really, uh, as you learn Java or you learn uh, C++ in other courses. Uh, yeah, so so assume that you know about uh, Java, mm -hmm. uh, even that Java and JavaScript are totally different things, but uh, it has some uh, overlap in terms of the, the syntax and uh, you will learn easier if you know about JavaScript. So, yeah, and here it, the, the intention is not to, to give you the whole lecture about JavaScript here. And uh, it's actually starting, uh, what I want to mention is uh, here from the Doom model. Yeah. So if, if you, you read or, or you, you, you study yourself and uh, you know that, uh, okay, so the dual model is a standard, so it's a W3C standard. And uh, it's a standard way to get, change, add or delete uh, HTML elements. Yeah. So as, as I mentioned, the script, we need a script. Why we need a script in our uh, HTML files? Because the script gives you the ability to 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 do things to react to, to give the dynamic uh, attributes of your website it be able to react on some uh, actions for example when you click on the buttons or you change something in the web interface uh, some new content will pop up or the web change the layout so this is all uh, can be done by uh, writing javascript code to uh, reacts on that. Yeah, so um, actually DOM order is, is uh, 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 the, the, the term itself. It's been that uh, it will model 
uh, the HTML documents into a tree of objects. As you see, for example, the table showing uh, in the left side here is, is the common uh, table tax and inside they have the body, the RTD. And this can be represented in a tree structure. Thinking about the table as a parent, uh, the, the, the outer part, the, the most uh, outside. Uh, yeah, the, the, the top that um, in the, uh, uh, yeah, the, the first uh, top. Uh, if thinking about that as the parent, so the T body, the one who nested inside the top, the table top, will be its uh, direct uh, children, its direct child. So in a model, it's represented by the arrow here. Yeah, and the, the, the tree model showing in the right hand side, the T body uh, is uh, the arrow showing from the table to the T body represent for the uh, parent child uh, relationship. Uh, in the same way, the T body will have two uh, children, uh, it's the first TR and the second TR. The first year we have also two children. The first one is the DD with the content share the group. And uh, the second DD with the content uh, alien. Yeah, so, so DOM is mean represent the HTML code uh, into this tree structure. And uh, so uh, then in uh, the, the DOM itself, uh, they define different functions to travel through this tree. Yeah, uh, uh, they will uh, have a function to travel through the tree to select the different uh, elements inside this tree. Uh, here is the first example that uh, uh, we show the example of how we can add uh, a new HTML element to the DOM model, but also to the HTML uh, file, because the DOM model here represent the code of the HTML file. Right? Uh, so you hear here first uh, it's called document uh, dot body. So the body here represent for the body top and add up and try. So here it will add the new elements, uh, uh, which is a variable btn. At the end is, uh, is created as a button and this will be add to the end of the HTML document. Yeah. So the documents dot body dot happen try documents represent for the whole HTML documents. So the body is the, the body part and append the try. But uh, what we, 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 we do the most uh, is actually use a get elements by ID, select an element by something, by class, by the element name, or by ID. So here document dot get element by IDs my H1. This one will give the access with the reference to the uh, elements with uh, this ID in the documents. Then it access to the style, the color, and change the color. Uh, I show the example here how it, uh, it, uh, it's actually used. Yeah, so if you're working with the Ukave, um, there's uh, the Ukave A and 9B. Um, maybe um, you need to, to see if 9 or 10, I, I change a bit the name here. Yeah. Uh, so uh, to, uh, uh, to react, to response. Okay, my internet, is, uh, internet connection is becoming unstable. I hope it will not impact uh, the core. Uh, okay, here yeah, we come uh, with um, again with the example. When you click on the button style, I, I want to change the style of this uh, text of this paragraph. Yeah, not only the color but also the font size. So the first thing I need to do is to use the DOM model to get access 
to this exactly this element. And when clicking on the style, I will change the style of that element. Okay, uh, well, look at this. Okay, so, okay, here we write in this way, uh, text.style font size. Uh, well, that, that's a short way to write, uh, but it's supposed to be like this, documents, get elements by ID. And I should write uh, the ID here is text. And here, uh, and uh, I, can, I can say, okay, something like this. Yeah. Yeah, so, so this line will uh, give me uh, the reference to this paragraph because of the ID here. Let's make by the ID. And I have the text here refer to this. When I come to style, I went to access to that attribute styles and the sub attributes in that style. And I change it as I wanted. And uh, here we need to, to bind the uh, events. When I click on the button, it's uh, one event. So it's an on-click event. And uh, when on-click, the click event happens, uh, the JS style function will be activated. So you see this one. So JS style will, will run. Yes. Yeah, so so this the, the demonstrates of, of the dual model and uh, actually that's a, the key uh, takeaway lessons uh, from uh, the, the second part of the JavaScript lecture. So I will not I ask um, it's more difficult than uh, what is showing here. <clears throat> Yeah, so now you have some questions relating to the lectures or um, the, the, the videos, so you can uh, write here.
Yeah, so uh, if we have the, no further questions, so uh, we can uh, end the meeting a bit early today then. Yeah, uh, thank you for attending and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah, how that?